Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me welcome you into my living room and uh, explain how the classes work. So today I'm going to be talking about homophones. So these are words that have the same pronunciation but different meanings and spellings. And I'm going to show you 10 examples of the most commonly used homophones. So if you have any questions as we go along, feel free to write them in the comments. Okay, my first homophone is accept. So accept with an A is to agree to take something and accept with an E is not including. For example, I accept all of the conditions of the contract except the last one. The next homophone is I. So we have I, the personal pronoun, and we have I, the part of the body that we use to see. For example, I think I have something in my eye. The next one is to. So to, T-O, is a preposition of movement, and to, T-O-O, means also. For example, I am going to the concert too. The next one is actually three different spellings and uh, definitions. We have there. So uh, there, T-H-E-R-E, is referring to a location or position. There, T-H-E-I-R, is the possessive of they. And there, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, is the contraction of they are. For example, they're eating their lunch over there. The next one is here. So H-E-A-R is here to receive sound in your ear. And here H-E-R-E -E means in this location. For example, I can't hear you come here. Next we have your. So we have the contraction of you are, your, and we have the possessive of you, your. For example, you're spilling your coffee on the table. Next we have for. So for, F-O-R, is a preposition, which means that something is intended to be given to someone. And for, F-O-U-R, is the number four. For example, can I book a table for four people? Next we have Flour, so flour, F-L-O-U-R, is a kind of powder made from grain that we use for cooking or baking. And flour, F-L-O-W-E-R, is the beautiful part of a, a plant, the beautiful colorful part of a plant. So for example, I am making flour-shaped cookies with cake flour. Okay, next we have our. So H-O-U-R, in this case the H is silent, so the pronunciation is the same. There are many cases in English of words starting with, with H that have a silent H pronunciation. So with this hour, H-O-U-R, it refers to time, so 60 minutes, one hour, and our O-U-R is the possessive of we. So for example, our flight is leaving in one hour. And finally, the last one is sun. So sun, S-O-N, we're talking about a male child when referring to the parents, and sun, S-U-N, is the star that the earth revolves around. So for example, my son loves to play in the sun. Okay, so I've given you 10 examples of homophones. I hope this has been useful for you to clear up some pronunciation questions and spelling differences. I hope you'll remember them now and recognize which one is which. So now I want you to practice by writing in the comments some examples of these homophones that you have just learned. So I look forward to reading your examples and I hope everyone is doing well um, as we're starting to come out of the confinement. I hope uh, 
everyone is uh, taking it, handling it as well as possible. So I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you back here same time next week for another class. So thanks again for watching. Bye.